A video has gone viral of three young girls going into a Sephora and putting on brown makeup. They are now collectively being accused of blackface. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you better. Yeah, you better. Guys, before we get into this video, please like and subscribe. This one's gonna be an interesting topic, and maybe I'm gonna say something that a lot of people on the internet need to hear, as so many are getting outraged over this now viral video. Now, this video takes place at Boston's Prudential Mall inside a Sephora where a young girl is caught putting brown makeup on her face. She appears to have been at this Sephora with two of her friends and some sort of mother figure. We are not sure whose mother this woman is. They are soon confronted by a vendor working at Sephora who tells them that this is completely unacceptable behavior. Let's watch. No. No, I walked over here and you're about to like, send me that. This lady has no shame. Go ahead. This is like, literally. Let alone how incredibly effective this is. This is so wild. It's not a face mask. This is so shameful. This is so shameful. Like, we don't. Sorry. Now, as you can expect, the internet is outraged over what they've seen in this video. Honestly, I'm more outraged at the amount of the test sample they used on their faces. That's what's unacceptable. And we know that teens have been going in and ruining Sephora's for quite some time now, and that adults have been complaining that their local Sephora's are overwhelmed by young people who are getting into crazy antics, but this might be a whole nother level. Now, I wanna make it very clear in talking about this video that these girls are being accused of alleged blackface. It is alleged that they made animal noises whilst putting on this makeup. And while we can do what most people do on the internet, which is jump to conclusions, pull out your pitchforks and start rioting and calling for these girls to be fired from their jobs or left out of college, I'm gonna hold back and wait for further details. And it seems like all the major media outlets that are reporting on this video are also holding back before they come to their conclusions. This headline out of CBS News reads, video appears to show teens using makeup for blackface. The New York Post writes, teens tossed from Boston Sephora after being accused of using makeup makeup for blackface. And lastly, NBC Boston says shoppers thrown out of Boston Sephora in filmed apparent blackface incident. It's important to acknowledge that while something might look offensive or racist, that is not always the case. I could see myself as a young person walking into a Sephora and painting my face with white foundation just to see what it looks like, just as I can see somebody whiter or paler than me doing the same with brown makeup. Now, this is not to say that racism is out of the realm of possibility. We've seen many a depiction of blackface and often with racist undertones. And most recently, Recently, we watched as a nine-year-old was falsely accused of committing an act of blackface at a Kansas City Chiefs game. The publication that falsely accused that young boy is now being sued. So I have a feeling that's why these other media outlets are treading lightly when it comes to covering this story. But let's say that this is an actual blackface incident and these girls were going in this store in order to be racist towards black people. What do you think the punishment for an offense like that should be? They've now been filmed, it's been posted all over the internet. I'm sure there are outraged individuals scouring trying to find out who they are, where they go to school, where they work, and now the entire public has seen what they've done. There are people all over Twitter saying these girls should lose their jobs, that they should be doxxed, that the mother needs to be beaten up, that this is the reason that we need more DEI. You even hear the vendor who confronted them in the video saying that this is something that will cause people to lose their jobs and not be able to go to college. And do I think that the proper response to watching a video like this is to hop on the internet and attempt to dox, threaten, and ruin the lives of these young girls? No, I don't. I'm gonna go out on a strong limb here and say that I have a feeling that they will never be committing this act again. And I'm going to be frank here and ask a question. What actual harm was done in this video? If anything, it just hurt a bunch of people's feelings on the internet who are now upset at a bunch of teenage strangers who they don't even know. If anything, a video going viral like this and getting such backlash has proved that we in this world have decided that blackface is not okay and we are working to combat racism. Now, I'll argue that we're not combating it in the way that we should be, but nonetheless, it seems like we've come to a general consensus on the issue. Honestly, this shows how low the bar actually is for being offended by something. It's just makeup put on a face at Sephora. The bar is in hell. It also shows how high the appetite is to find instances of racism so that we can be upset on the internet. If anything, I'm watching much more blatant acts of racism come in the form of affirmative action and DEI that are directly affecting people's lives and outcomes and nothing's being done about that. But yeah, let's keep the white girl who put brown makeup on her face in a Sephora out of college 
college. Newsflash, she probably wasn't going to get in anyways. It's very clear, at least in my eyes, that there are gradations when it comes to committing an act of blackface. You have a video like this Asian woman dressing up as Kobe Bryant that went viral on the internet as she was being accused of blackface. Then you have the sort of middle of the road Jimmy Kimmel's and Justin Trudeau's of the world who choose to commit an act of blackface that seemingly has some racial undertones to it. And then you have the end of the road, which is the minstrel show of the olden days blackface where it is clearly blatantly racist. And I have no idea which of these these girls were committing in that Sephora. If they were doing the latter, then sure, they should be punished. I don't feel comfortable, however, as a member of the public, levying that punishment out to them. And as I said before, this video going viral, them being doxxed, threatened, I'm sure that is punishment enough and that they will likely never make this mistake again. But more important than their punishment is how we personally handle these situations. We should learn to keep a lid on our outrage, to hold on for further details, and not become judge, jury, and executioner every time we see a video that makes us feel offended. And most importantly, the amount of outrage we feel should be in proportion to the amount of harm actually committed. But those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. As always, I encourage healthy debate. So if you disagree with me, duke it out, but do so respectfully. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified every single time I post a video for you guys, which is every day. And I will see you next time. Yeah, you better.